We're joined now with the latest developments and what we may expect to see in the next few hours of war. MSNBC military analyst, retired Army General Norman Schwarzkopf. General Schwarzkopf, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. First of all, let's start with the, the story about Saddam Hussein, whether or not uh, this attack actually got Saddam. What's your, what's your guess at this point? Well, I, I'd say it's still an open question because what they showed was a was a videotape of Saddam discussing, uh, talking, giving, and it was a generality. It wasn't specifically aimed at what happened last night. So, I don't think that, that the information is in yet. There'll be a, a BDA go in. A, 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 they'll fly over, see what it looks like from the air, take a lot of pictures, and then probably come up with a better conclusion of what they've been able to accomplish or didn't accomplish. The Iraqis firing missiles at U.S. troops in Kuwait. Uh, give me your sense of why the attack really hasn't started yet. Uh, their missile attack, is that what you're talking well, about? Well, their missile attack on U.S. forces, I guess some people in this country watch that and say, well, why isn't the U.S. pounding Iraq right now? Well, I, I don't think, you know, you, you take an incident, an isolated incident like their firing of the missiles and use that as an excuse to throw your whole plan out of the window. Uh, Central Command has a very, very specific plan with a very, very specific timing. Uh, it's their judgment as to when to launch it, but there's no point in, in running around willy-nilly now and just throwing the plan out the window and moving forward. Do you think uh, they may be holding up the plan because they're still not sure whether Saddam Hussein might, might have been killed? No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think that the things are going to unfold exactly. Last night was just, just a target of opportunity that they took advantage of. Uh, but as far as the overall campaign plan, that's yet to start. You know, at least four of these 2,000-pound bunker buster bombs uh, were apparently used in this first strike against leadership targets, um, as were the dozens of cruise missiles that were launched from the Gulf and from the Red Sea. Why are these the weapons of choice? Well, you know, Saddam Hussein, if you go back to the last war, uh, he spent a lot of his time underground, uh, deep in the bunkers. Uh, once we almost got him, and after that he went to ground and didn't come out and show himself publicly. So I think the, the, the thinking is that probably if he is in a command center of some sort, or if he's, yeah, if he's, uh, you know, he's not out walking around on the streets, he's going to be deep underground, and you need those kind of weapons to get to him. So far, no use of chemical weapons that we know of. Are you surprised by that on the part of the Iraqis? No, I don't think so. I think it would be incredibly stupid of them to use chemical weapons at this stage of the game after claiming to the world uh, that they don't have any. Uh, all that would do is would justify uh, uh, what we're doing right now because we said they had weapons of mass destruction. They said they didn't. So it would be a dumb thing to do on their part. How big a role is the CIA and special forces playing in this operation? <laughs> I, I, I don't know the answer to that question, and obviously if I did, I couldn't talk about it on television. But it's crucial, isn't it? I mean, if, if Special Forces clearly has, has some sort of role in all of this, and, and uh, I mean, it, it, it's playing a role, but I mean, what it is, we don't know. I guess the question is, how important is intelligence when you're going in and you're trying to make these crucial decisions? Well, it, it's, you know, it's wonderful if you could have that kind of intelligence. The, the, the type of intelligence organizations we have are very good at operating behind the lines or, uh, of many other kinds of intelligence gathering, and, and it's great. The more intelligence you can get, the more, the more you can learn about the enemy's intent, the easier it is for you to do your job. You think the fact that Turkey is not allowed deployment of troops in that country has really delayed this operation in some way or not? I doubt if it is delayed it. I think it's disappointing that they wouldn't uh, let us do that because, of course, it's great to have two fronts have the enemy looking in two different directions. It, and also, uh, you know, there's some targets to the north that could have been taken out much more easily uh, uh, if we had been allowed to come out of Turkey with troops. But, but I don't think that that's going to have a significant effect on the timing of what's going on. Is your sense that all the elements are in place now? I don't think so. I, I think, you know, the, the combat units they, I just heard were in the attack position. That's, some of them are there. But there's a huge logistics tail that wags the operational dog. And, you know, it's, it's not enough just to have the troops up there. You have to have the supplies, the ammunition, uh, the, the uh, gasoline, all of these things that it takes to run this war. Uh, and you have to have that forward before you're ready to kick off. Don't forget what happened to General Patton in World War II. He, he had a lightning strike across Europe, and, and he, he had to stop dead in his tracks because he ran out of gas. We don't want that to happen to our forces. And therefore, there's a huge logistical effort that takes place uh, getting those things forward before you kick off an attack. Let me bring you one bit of information. U.S. Uh, military officials in Kuwait are confirming now that uh, U.S. Patriot missiles intercepted and shot down two Iraqi missiles bound for Kuwait. Tell me about the effectiveness of this new and improved Patriot missile. 
Well, I think that the information you gave me speaks for itself. There was a lot of criticism of Patriots. Some people claim they didn't knock out any weapons in the last war. I think that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Uh, but uh, the fact that they, 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 this is a new and improved version and the fact that they have knocked out two missiles in the air uh, is, is a significant accomplishment. Very, very tough targets, you know, to go after missiles because they go up in the air and then they come down and, and you've got you to get them. Uh, normally it's better if you get them on the way up than on the way down because they're a much tougher target when they're coming down. General Schwarzkopf, we'll talk to you again in a couple of hours. Thanks very much. Welcome, John.